I've never seen a vulnerable old black's side, declares Wales coach Warren Gatland. Turns out Warren Gatland can chuck out the bouquets, as well as lob in the hand grenades. The volleyable Wales rugby coach, proud Kiwi and chief of the recent British and Irish Lions team that achieved that historic series deadlock against the All Blacks in New Zealand mid-year, fronted for a surprise media appearance at Training HQ on Monday, Tuesday and Z time. At it he rather backtracked on his claims in his recently published book to have explosive inside info on the All Blacks that he is keeping up his sleeve. Explosive is an exaggerated word, he admitted, as he covered a range of topics in the wake of the weekend's hard-fought victory over Georgia and this much-awaited match-up against the New Zealanders at the wonderful Principality Stadium. As Wales coach he is 0-10 against the All Blacks, 0-5 since Steve Hansen took over as head shrang, though he does have that 1-1-1 mark for the Lions. Naturally he was adopting a respectful tone when quizzed on the supposed vulnerability of the world champs after former national captain Gwen Jones declared the New Zealanders no longer the fearsome unit of the past after their 22-17 victory over Scotland. I think if you utter those words it comes back to bite you, said Gatland, well aware of his own side's fall abilities after being toppled by the Wallabies 29-21 and struggling to a 13-6 victory over Georgia so far in November. I've never seen an all-black team that's been vulnerable. The quality and depth they have, they would be hurting and disappointed they didn't play better, against Scotland. In saying that, they coped with the pressure and won the game. The all-blacks have commented themselves they have dominated the game for too long and people want to see them come under pressure. I think that's good for rugby. We want to see those close contests where teams that perform on the day are able to push the no-one team in the world really close. Gatland felt the New Zealanders, like so many sides, were battling through a heavy injury period which had compromised their performances a little on tour. They were pretty good against France but they'll be disappointed with Scotland, he added. The Scots took it to them but they still won the game and they had that X-factor when they needed to turn it on. In fairness to Scotland they kept going. In the past they may have capitulated when they went behind and conceded some soft tries, but they kept playing. I was impressed. Gatland has a big week ahead as he plots a way forward against an all-blacks outfit who have been given a stern message around attitude. He hopes to have both Liam Williams, abdominal injury and Justin Tuberic, thigh, available, and he says he feels a little more equipped to handle the challenge based on his alliance experience this year. It was challenging from a personal perspective but, Kiwis understand this, when you back someone into a corner we come out fighting, he said. There is no way I was going to allow something to get the better of me. I got mentally tougher. I kind of felt like I was in a boxing match. I enjoyed that challenge. I enjoyed thinking that no one was going to get the better of me, or split the squad or create controversy. There was some pretty underhand stuff going on. It was challenging. There are one or two people I would like to get into a corner of a room with me now. But that might wait for another day. But Gatland admitted his side would need more than fighting talk on Saturday, Sunday and ZT as they chase that elusive first victory over the All Blacks since 1953. You watch Scotland, and you take some positives out of that. But we can't expect that New Zealand aren't going to improve. This is their last game of the year, so we expect them to front up, hurting a little bit, knowing that they haven't played to their potential. We've got to build from the second half against Australia and go and put the best team in the world under some pressure.